Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design and it is called the Zebra Fishy Bracelet. Or in other words, the Inverted Fishy Zebra Bracelet. And well, the Fishy Zebra Bracelet is this one right here. And this one, the Fishy Zebra Bracelet, is a variation of another one of my bracelets called the Climbing Tire Track. And I do have a tutorial for both of these bracelets. This one here on a finger loom and this one here on a monster tail and a loom. But the tutorials for this is really long. But I will be making an updated tutorial for this sometime soon. But anyway, the Zebra Fishy Bracelet is just the inverted fishtail version of the Fishy Zebra Bracelet, as you can see. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to make this one here. So to make the Zebra Fishy or the inverted Fishy Zebra Bracelet, you're going to need any four pins on pretty much anything, a loom or a finger loom. I'm going to be using a monster tail because that is what will be easiest to make this bracelet on. And also the instructions are for monster tails, just so you know. You will also need a hook. I'm going to be using a rainbow loom metal tipped hook. You will also need a clip. I'm going to be using a C clip. It's also a rainbow loom thing. I do know there are some other brands that use C clips, but anyway. Not only will you need those things there, but you will also need rubber bands. And as you can see here, we have these three groups. And I'm going to go ahead and explain what each group is. So this first group here, over here on the left, they are the rubber bands that are going to be on one side of your bracelet. So these might be the green and the purple, or the yellow and the pink. These rubber bands here in the middle, they're going to be the rubber bands on the other side of your bracelet. So if these rubber bands were the green and purple, these here in the middle would be the pink and the yellow. And then this third group here, these are the rubber bands that will be your cap band and the last rubber band in your bracelet. So the first rubber band and the last rubber band. And as you can see here, they are both attached to the clip. And the cap band is this circular rubber band here, which this will be at the beginning. The last rubber band is kind of like this single chain little loop thing. Now, for the rubber bands, I cannot tell you how many rubber bands you will need of then you may need a little bit less than twice as many rubber bands. You need to make yourself two inverted fishtails. And for the third group here, you will only need two of them because it's the cap band and the last rubber band and there's only two rubber bands attached to the clip here. So I can tell you you will need two of these, but the actual bracelet I cannot really tell you because this is a growing bracelet so that means Depending on how big your wrist is, that will be what determines how many rubber bands you'll need. So, yeah. So, go ahead and get the supplies you need. Use the pause button so that you can do so, and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so, to begin making your bracelet, you're going to need your cap band, rubber band, and six rubber bands that will be used to actually make your bracelet. And three of these are going to be on one side of the bracelet and the other three are going to be on the opposite side. Alright, so to begin, you're also going to need to have the monster tail's red dot here on the left. So the red dot on the monster tail on the left. And you're also going to want to have your hook nearby. And let's just go ahead and get started. So to begin, you're going to need your cap band. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it going across this bottom left pin up to the top left pin. But when you do this, you're going to twist the rubber band onto the top left pin so that you get this H shape or this hourglass shape here on the two left pins. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and get your hook. And what you're going to do is here on this top left pin you're going to grab the rubber band that's there and stretch it out to the top middle pin and here on the bottom you're going to go ahead 
grab the rubber band that's there and stretch it out to the bottom middle pin. And these four pins here, the top left, the bottom left, the top middle, and the bottom middle, these are all the pins we're going to be using for the bracelet. Alright, so to begin, we're going to take our first rubber band, it's going to be on one side of our bracelet, and this rubber band that we're about to place is going to be called an A color rubber band. And this will help you figure out which side, it, it'll make the tutorial a lot easier, and it'll help you understand what's going on and all that craziness. So, this is going to be called an A rubber band, and what this A rubber band is going to be stretched across is it's going to be stretched across these two left pins and then outwards to the top middle pin. So these are the three pins all A color rubber bands will be stretched across. Alright, now you're going to want to get another rubber band and this rubber band is going to be on the up opposite side of the bracelet. So say this green one was going to be here on the side where there's green. This white one would be here on the other side with the pink and the yellow. And this rubber band here is going to be called a B color rubber band or a B rubber band. And well, all B color rubber bands, they are stretched across these two right pins and then outwards to the bottom left pin. So notice how the A and the B rubber bands both stretch across the bottom left pin and the top middle pin. That is where this kind of crossing here in the middle comes from. Alright, so to begin, start looming, we're going to get our hook, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loom the cap band rubber band on both sides, so here on the top and on the bottom. Then we're going to loom again, we're going to loom the A color rubber band on the two pins where the A and the B rubber bands meet. So the top middle pin and the bottom left pin. So here at the left, grab the bottom rubber band, pull it over. And here on the top, grab the bottom A rubber band, pull it over. And make sure the A rubber band here on the top left pin stays where it is and you have something like this on your loom. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to place another A color rubber band. So as you can see here where the A and the B rubber band were crossing and meeting on the two pins, there is now only a B color rubber band, so we get an A color rubber band now. And we stretch it across the two left pins and the top middle pin. Then what we do is we go ahead and loom in the same places. the bottom left pin and the top middle pin and we're not going to loom here on the top or did I say okay the top middle pin if I said the left but we're not going to loom yet here on the top left pin because we need to make an inverted fishtail and to do that we need three layers of rubber bands on a pin so we only have two right now so we're going to wait on that but now we need to place a B color rubber band because as you can see here where the A and the B rubber bands were together there is now only an A color rubber band so now that means we get a B color rubber band and that's just a way to tell what you need to place next if you ever get lost so anyway you get a B color rubber band stretch it across the two right pins because that's where all B color rubber bands are placed and then it's placed outwards to the bottom left pin now what we're going to want to do is we're going to do the same thing we did for the A color rubber band. We're only going to loom the bottom rubber band here on the bottom left pin and the top middle pin. But here on the bottom middle pin we're not going to loom just yet because there's only two layers of rubber bands right now. All right. Now we're going to get another A color rubber band, because here if you look on the bottom left in the top middle pin, there's a B color rubber band, so you get an A color rubber band now. Stretch it across the two left pins, that's where all A rubber bands go, and also up here to the top middle pin. Alright, 
Now we're going to go ahead and loom in the same place we've been looming. Bottom left pin and the top middle pin. But now, as you can see here on the top left pin, we now have three layers of rubber bands. So what that means is we can go ahead and do the inverted fishtail stitch here on this top left pin. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my loom so you can see how you do the inverted fishtail stitch if you are not sure. What you do is with your hook, you go into the pin and pull back only the second rubber band, so this rubber band here in the middle, that's what you pull back with your hook. You grab this bottom rubber band now and pull it over the pin. That's how you do an inverted fishtail stitch. All right. So now, we should only have two rubber bands left here, and one on these two pins. And now we need to place a B color rubber band, because as you can see here, there's an A color rubber band on the bottom left pin and the top middle pin. That's where the A and the B rubber bands meet. So now we get a B rubber band, they're stretched across these two right pins, and outwards to the bottom left pin. Oh, and I meant the middle pin, sorry. <laughs> Goodness. But anyway, now you're going to get your hook, and we're going to loom where the A and the B rubber bands meet. So I'm not going to be saying what pin they are, because that's probably getting annoying. So wherever the A and the B rubber bands meet, that's where we're going to loom the bottom rubber band. And now, as you can see here on the bottom middle pin, we have three layers of rubber bands. So what that means is we're going to do another inverted fishtail stitch. So, to do an inverted fishtail stitch, you go into the pin and pull back only the second rubber band, or the rubber band in the middle. Then you grab the bottom rubber band and pull it over the pin. Alright, and that's how you start your bracelet. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the pattern for making this bracelet, but I am only going to show you the pattern once. And I'm going to show you once for both sides of the the bracelet so technically twice so anyway I'm only gonna be showing you once technically twice and then I'm gonna leave you to continue making the bracelet on your own and this is because the bracelets pretty simple to make and hopefully you can get it after I show you once so the pattern for making this bracelet is you check here on the bottom left pin and the top middle pin to see if there's an A or a B color rubber band. And there's a B color rubber band there. So that means we get an A color rubber band now and place it. And A color rubber bands go across these two left pins and the top middle pin. And once you've placed the A or B rubber band, depending on what's here, you're going to get your hook. You're going to go ahead and loom the bottom rubber bands where the A and the B color rubber bands meet. So the bottom left pin and the top middle pin. And then, if you have three layers of rubber bands on any pin, then that means you need to do an inverted fishtail stitch. So here on the top left pin we do, and to do an inverted fishtail stitch, you pull back the second rubber band or the rubber band in the middle on that pin, grab the bottom rubber band and pull it over the pin. So loom it. Now, once again, we check here on the bottom left pin and the top middle pin if there's an A or B rubber band. There is an A rubber band, so we get a B color rubber band this time. We alternate between A and B, and we place it. And to place a B color rubber band, you stretch it across these two right pins and outwards to the bottom left pin. Oh my gosh, I just called them the right pins. These two middle pins, I'm sorry. I keep calling them the right but anyway, once you've placed the B rubber band, or any rubber bands, now we need to loom. And where we loom, we loom wherever the A and the B rubber bands are together. So down here, and up here. And then, as you can see here on this bottom middle pin, we have three layers of rubber bands. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an inverted fishtail stitch. So we take our hook, we pull back this middle layer here, 
the second rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band with our hook, and loom it by pulling it over the pin. And there you go, that is the pattern for making your bracelet. So, now that I've shown you the pattern for making this bracelet technically twice, but once, now you're going to continue making your bracelet with this pattern of placing and looming over and over until you have made your bracelet long enough to fit around your wrist. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I am not going to be fast forwarding the rest of this video. I'm going to be cutting the video because it will take me a while to finish making my bracelet. And yeah, so just use the pause button if you need to and I will see you once it's time to make your bracelet a bracelet. Alright, so, as you can see here, I have now made my bracelet long enough so it will now fit around my wrist, and you should have as well, and once you have done that, you're going to get ready to make this into an actual bracelet. So to do that, you're going to need your hook, your clip, and your last rubber band. This rubber band is going to be the last rubber band in your bracelet, of course, and yeah so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use our hook first so just go ahead and put the rubber band and the clip aside and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loom any bottom rubber bands that are on these four pins so even if there's only so even if it's usually a pin where you do an inverted fishtail stitch if there are two layers of rubber bands on any pins go ahead and just loom the bottom rubber band. So if you do have three layers of rubber bands on one of these two pins here, then make sure you go ahead and do the inverted fishtail stitch and then you're gonna go ahead, grab the bottom rubber band with your hook and pull it over the pin. And you'll do this on both pins. So here you'll also grab the bottom rubber band. So make sure you loom all the bottom rubber bands and make sure you only have one rubber band on all four pins. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get these here on our loom right now ready for the last rubber band in our bracelet. So you're going to get your hook and you're going to bring all of the rubber bands here to the center pins. So these two middle pins, the top and the bottom middle pin. So, to do that, you're going to go ahead, grab the rubber band that's here on the top left pin, and bring it inwards to this pin, the top middle pin, then the rubber band here on the bottom left pin is going to go inwards to the bottom middle pin. And there you go. Now you should have two pins on your loom that have two rubber bands on each. And now we're going to go ahead and get the last rubber band we'll be using for our bracelet. Stretch it across these two middle pins. And now we're going to go ahead, grab our hook, and loom the bottom rubber bands, all of them, on both of these pins. So here on the bottom middle pin, we grab these two rubber bands, pull them over, and be careful when you do this. You do not want to use, lose the rubber band above. Alright, so same here on this top middle pin. Go ahead, grab these rubber bands here, pull them over. Alright, and once you have loomed those there, you're going to go ahead, have your clip nearby, and we're going to go ahead and get this rubber band that we have left here on the, our loom ready for the clip. So, what we do is we get our hook, and we're going to bring all of this rubber band onto one pin. I'm going to bring mine here to this top middle pin. So, what you do is you grab the rubber band on one side with your hook, carefully take it off the pin, and bring it over to the other end of the rubber band on the other pin. So now there should only be one pin on your loom with rubber bands on it. 
So once this is true for you, what you're going to do is you're now going to get this rubber band stretched out so you can attach your clip to it. And to do that, you're going to use your hook, stick it into the pin that you have the rubber band on, and stretch the rubber band very carefully outwards to another pin on your monster tail. Be careful you do not lose the rubber band while you're stretching it out. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our clip and attach it to the stretched out rubber band. And when you do, it should be something like this when you pull on the clip. And now once your clip is attached, you can go ahead and take the rubber bands off of your loom. And now we're going to attach the clip to the cap band or the first rubber band in your bracelet. So to attach the clip to the cap band, you're going to take the cap band, stretch it across any two pins on your monster tail. I'm going to use these two here. Then you're going to take your clip, attach to the other end of your bracelet, and attach it now to your cap band. And there we go. Once your clip is attached, you can take the cap band off of your loom. And now you don't need your loom or your hook anymore. Now you just have your bracelet. And well, the next step for this bracelet is very easy. All you gotta do is go ahead and put your bracelet on. And bam. So as you can see here, I am now wearing my inverted zebra fish bracelet or wait, my inverted fishy zebra bracelet or the zebra fishy bracelet and well now I guess it's time for the outro so I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial hopefully it showed you how to make the inverted fishy zebra or the inverted zebra fish or the fishy zebra bracelet successfully and hopefully now you are wearing your bracelet and yeah and well, that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and 